I like to create. I um, kind of consider myself a multidisciplinarian artist where I have dibble dabbled in different parts that I loved about the arts from ballet as dance to I uh, studied architecture and film design. So I went through these different areas and I've come full circle to be a visual artist. Sharks are born swimming. No one has to teach them to swim. They just go and they just do what they innately, instinctively know how to do. Birds know how to fly, they just do it. No one really teaches them. So that's what I think that this show was really about uh, having an idea and creating it and just doing it and just putting it out there. So I hope it inspires other people just to create. People of um, other times always use what was available to them. I mean, and we still do that. And from, you know, papyrus and making paper to hip hop and not having musical instruments, so to using records and sampling and it created a whole, and inspired a whole people, group of people. So that's what I started to do. I started to look around me and see, you know, my parents were keeping plastic bags, didn't know what to do with them. I have plastic bags, they're in the trees, they're everywhere, no one. So I just started to gather them and see what I could create from them. And as I started to work with them, it became my medium, like clay is or paint is to another artist. I fuse them, I melt them, and I use an iron. And uh, again, a household tool, because that's where I am. And I think of them as paintings, and I just try and recreate it. So different bags lend different textures, and I've learned how to pull them and stretch them and lay them and layer and layer and layer the colors so it gives me the texture or the feeling that I want. I'm interested in creating stories with my work visually and have something to say. I have a piece called Creating Balance and that piece is about uh, when at one point I felt like people were yelling at me or I felt like I wasn't doing what I needed to do. A lot of negativity in my life. So for me I needed to realize that I need to create that beauty and it started within. And by creating happiness within myself, I'm able to have compassion and empathy and see it a different way. And so that's why I feel like you have to create balance. Like you let the negativity, but you can only let it in so much. There's always an opposite way. The yin and yang thing, you know. The sky's the limit once you start. I think that that's part of the fun about being an artist is that you can pretty much play with different arenas. And I think when you have things that are whimsical and creative and imaginative, it, it gives you a sense of freedom.